How can we care about something so much for a moment, but in a moment's notice, just drop it like we never even owned it? How can we continue to leave so much behind and broken when there's 3.5 million homeless without a place to even feel safe or call their own when they're out in the cold frozen? Life is a fragile topic, difficult to grasp and nearly impossible to open. Inside, each old home is a story all its own with remnants of life reflected in something as simple as a clouded bathroom mirror. Ivy climbs walls, pressing in against window panes. It seems so strange to think how we even ended up here. See, eyes are spectacles for optical perception and without opening your own, they remain as useless as ever. One thing we need to be reminded of is that the mind is the strongest weapon, and from it can come progression. We had these dreams of building empires, visions of structures that could reach the skies, towering higher than the tallest trees. So we take them away to make way for the structures of the future, but we never expected that this is how our future would be, because we never stopped to question if we should. Societies built so tall just to watch them fall years later, wall by crumbling wall. When all is said and done, and all is done and gone, we're left with only fragments of a fading past, dried up like the rusty pen left tilted against a dusty hourglass. This is what remains. Mother Nature reclaims what we have left for her to take. Vines climb walls resembling wicked veins and rooftops fall away welcoming rain, creating a scene of captivating decay, like a fantasy gone astray. As a community, we will someday have to explain to future generations that this was once part of a big dream, but that was as far as it ever got, a dream denied. For some reason, we changed our minds, eventually abandoning them for a lifestyle where we find ourselves stuck inside, sucked into our computer screens, leaving it all behind, with no redirection. And now, reflected in the shattered glass of shop windows are fading memories of a fragile human connection being slowly forgotten, further lost as dirt fogs their reflection. How will we encourage communities to never give up on their aspirations when these places full of broken beauty stand as indications and massive memorials of us doing just that? How will we inspire the man stuck on the rough track to jump back and follow what he believes when he sees no potential in the community that provides him with nothing but smug remarks and bust laughs as he sits cold and lonely at the back of city transportation with nothing but lost inspiration, crushed dreams, and a bus pass? You absorb all that surrounds you, and if we continue to let the gloominess consume us, that's when it drowns you. As you're swept away from what grounds you, all becomes dissolved in the unforgiving waters of time like whirlpools as they circle around you. So what does it come down to? It's down to you. It's down to me. It's down to us to make a change in the vision we share within our future communities. Can we find peace and social unity? And I'm sick of the arguing over who did it right, or whose right is the next wrong, or whose wrong sparks the next fight. Because when you see the world in black and white, your imagination lacks color, and all is thrown into disarray. You welcome more stress onto your plate, and as it digs into your brain, you can only complain about how everything feels wrong like it's falling apart into a sea full of hate. Beauty becomes bombarded as bricks break free and fall away. And I have to ask you, how would you perceive a Monet in gray? Things weren't supposed to end up this way. We need to make a change.